back to the channel. <clears throat> uh, just a quick update. Sunday I'll be back out on the beach. I'm going to a new mark. Uh, secret mark, I can't tell you where. But so it's supposed to be the best place on the North Norfolk or one of the best places on the North Norfolk coast uh, to be fishing. Um, the last couple of weeks I've been out, or the last month, been in one of the budget supermarkets. They've been doing a sort of like a, a backpack with a stall. And one of the originally came in, there was about 34 quid. Then we reduced down to 24 quid. And the last week or two, they've been 21.99. And I went in the other day, and there about three left. Special off when they've gone, they've gone 19.99. So I thought, pick one up. I'll just show you one now. And I thought for 19.99, an absolute bargain. It's got a, a stall, aluminium frame, with a seat. Great big backpack. I've been sorting out, I've got all my gear in, condensed it down. In the top here, there's a big compartment. I've got my tackle box in there, all my rigs, weights, components. I've got my two Shakespeare Salt XT wheels, 7000s. I've got two spare spools. There's a, a compartment on the side here. That's got all my GoPro stuff in. Um, there's a spare compartment on the side which I'm going to put my flasks and bottle in. This one here, I've got a way bag in case the tide's a bit gnarly. Got some three up flapper rigs in here. I've got a torch if I need a torch. My gloves, everything's in there. Top compartment, uh, just the stuff for my, my phone. Some more towels. Uh, head torch, weighing scales, but I've basically got everything in here, and there's still enough room in here to be able to fit my bait, I'll just sort it all out, make sure it's all fitted, I'll probably get some of the, uh, w these Waitrose freezer bags, um, double bag them, tomorrow I'm going to go and pick out some worms from Julian, he's got 150 lug worms for me. Yeah, that's it. Well chuffed with that for 20 quid. Everything's in here. It's nice and comfortable. I've got it nice and high on my back. Chest strap. It's not heavy at all. What's to go wrong for 20 quid? Just felt we uh, rods and we we're away. Bargain. I've just got my rod bag. Two rods. My rod pod. And that's it. And I'm ready to go. And it just get me to Newmark so I can, I can walk for 20 minutes, half an hour. Get some different spots that's far too sort of like far to go with all your gear with your trolley and your Shakespeare box and all the rest of it weighing down in the sand. So hopefully I can get some, some new new places and show you something that's different. So without further ado, I'll see you down on the beach on Sunday. Right guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today about we're looking back. I won't tell you where it is, but we've just got down here. Swish things around the last week, it's been some weather. Bait and warning and all that stuff. It's cheering me up a little bit now. So I've worn out around for about four hours, five hours here. We're here, the figure's about two o'clock. Snow tide at half past four, twenty past four. The sweat went to about banking, it was annoying. But I've just set up, I'm not even chassed out yet. Bit fraud, marshal board. Shakespeare Soul, uh, serve £7,060 dash a year. £15 show for a salt bono. Serve uh, 5 ounce lead, whip a lead. I'll show you this. Got a 3.0 and a 2.0 Mustad Viking hook. I've got two great big uh, lugworms on there. Got some fantastic lugworms yesterday from Julian. They're absolute donkeys, they are. Lovely and fresh, wriggling and up and round. I've got three packs of them. I've just put a bit of squid on there. I'm not going to go too far. I'll put the microphone on in a minute when I'm all set up. I've got the uh, long cast rod, 40 foot. Same reel, same uh, shock leader, same line. 70 pound rig body again. That's the rig body. I've got a two up and one down rig, not even clipped down. It's slightly longer, I did this one yesterday. Got 
five pound Flora Max. Look length, two are on bottom. The size one must have likers on the top two. There's no beads or anything. I'm just gonna bait that. I'm gonna go with lug worm and squid. So I've got loads of lug, I've got some peeler crabs as well. Right, let me uh, finish set up properly and I'll get back to you. I'm not going to go too far with this one, just off the end of the surf, probably about 30 yards out. And the other one, well, cast both rods in twice, and uh, there's a real strong tide right to left on the end. But the problem is, it's just so weedy. This, I mean, uh, it's ridiculous. I might move, I'm not set us. Uh, standing here all day picking this off every single cast. I'll bring this one in, if it's the same, I'm going to move somewhere. I don't know if it's just out in front of me or it's just everywhere. Right, I'm just picking all this crap off. It might be a very short session if it's going to be like this. Rods are out, we're down at trimming them. We've got two big baits on, two pulley rigs. Left one, I've just uh, got a 3-0 Cox and Rose circle hook with a dongle and a big bit of uh, squid stuffed with prawns. And then the right hand one, I've got a 3-0 and a 2-0 Mustad Viking, uh, Peter Crab and squid on that one. But I've had them to put the rods right up high to get out the surface weed, but we're doing it now. And we're on the flood. But the sun's just come out again. We got down here and it's done nothing but rain, 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 rain. Thunderstorms, lightning. It's just easing off. I've had two white in, but I couldn't film them. Couldn't get my phone out. I'm just waiting for a slam down now. Let's go big or go home. Okay, yeah, I was just saying on here, um, I had a bit of a catastrophe. I was moving the rod pop, uh, the rod rest back. The phone holder's on the rod rest, and the tide's flooding in quite fast. And the phone popped out, and the next thing I know, it was under the water. Managed to grab the phone, quickly turned it off, pressed the power button, turned it off, ripped the battery out, and uh, <laughs> things were just not going right. It was one of them days. Let it dry out for half an hour in the sun. It wasn't too bad inside, but uh, the last sort of, I put it back together and I recorded about four videos, but there's no sound on it, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. But yeah, I mean, uh, the weeds are horrendous, um, the tide's really strong, so I decided to go down with one rig. That was well, um, with the tide pushing in so fast, I couldn't, I couldn't walk back fast enough, and where I was, Right on the point here, I could see I was going to get cut off, and I only just made it out to the truth in another sort of 10 15 minutes. The water would have been up to the point in the cliff um, that you could see to the right, but, and then as you go back to the slip, the beach cuts back and is a lot further. Um, so I decided to make a hasty retreat, get out while I can, and move further down to the right and see if we can catch a fish or two. As you can see down here to the right, the water's coming in, it's lashing in that little bay beyond the uh, breakers there. And to the right there's a bit of a cliff fall and sand. Okay guys, I'm literally fighting time. The tide's coming in so fast it's up to my feet, so I was just trying to pack a few bits and pieces away. The rod tip flew over 
and a nice big dogfish. This was on the uh, dongle rig, with first fish on the dongle. And that was a whole bit of squid, stuffed with walking prawns. Lashed onto the dongle, the rods tips flown over. So basically what I've done is I've just literally picked my rods up, folded my rod pod up, put everything in my bag and I've walked about 500 yards back down the beach towards the slip. Found a nice little bay, it's a bit sand and shingle, it's nice and clear. I've had a few casts here and it's totally, totally different, totally di you wouldn't think it was the same beach. Very little tide, very little weed flat calm it's crazy I think where I was it was a big round sandy bay and the tide just rushed in so fast over there and with the, uh, the sand sandbar in front of me the weed was just rushing along the sandbar on the surface but uh, here's a totally different uh, found a nice little place with some metal pins so I could just pop them. I didn't bother resetting my rod pod I just rested them on, on the uh, breaker wall there Well, I stuck it out here for a couple of hours. I gave it to about half past eight, but nothing, I'm afraid. Nothing at all. The uh, bait's coming back clean. There's a couple of people to my left. I didn't see them catch anything either. Um, but hey, it was a good day, good session. New mark, so not complaining. So I thought I'm back, I'm back out in the morning. So let's make a move. Let's back, get back home, get something to eat few hours kip and we'll get back on a new mark tomorrow look at that for view absolutely stunning We're down on a new mark today I'm gonna give it a go it's high tide about half past nine let's get down there It's like a path along the other side, but... Well, we're nearly here. I'm just loving this new backpack. I think it's an absolute bargain. It's nice and comfortable, not too heavy. I can walk for half an hour, no problem. It's just getting me out to so many places. I'm not absolutely knackered and sweating when I get there. It's the best thing I bought. I'm saying I wish I would have bought another one. I wish I bought a second one. But uh, I walked far enough. This little bay looks pretty, uh, pretty nice. So I'll plonk myself here. Let's have a good day's fishing, eh, guys? Come on. Well, if let's I get on this few. beach, that'll do for me. Set one rod up. I'm just going to go for a straight two up, one down, flat the rig. On the bottom, it's got a big bit of mass on it. A little bit of squid head. 25 pound Flora Max leader. Five ounce gripper. 70 pound big body. Two snoods of about eight inches. Again, 25 pound floor max. Love worm and a little bit of squid on both. Gonna cast this. 
to the left to see what the state of the tide's doing. Just near the groin. And then I'll get the big bait set up, the big rod. But in, uh, I got up this morning, I had no plans. Nowhere to go in mine. It's got about six or eight destinations. In the old Wheel of Fortune. Span has come up over Strand, thought, yeah, great. Been here once before spinning, but it was so rough. We're going to try and go along that groin to the end of the point. what the tide's doing. It's hard to put radar on here because it's supposed to be this light wind today. Light pick it up from one of maybe. But it's flat calm. I want to see the bikes. That's looking pretty slack at the minute. We've got about an hour of an hour and a quarter. It's going to be a high, uh, high tide about half past nine. I've a squid in the, in the fridge this morning and I haven't picked it up. And I've got three bit. So I have to make that last. I'm going to go with this short pulley <clears throat> with a dongle. 3 0 circle up. Yes.
I didn't put this away very well. Just chuck this in the box after night. So the rust is pack up. Just pack it up about half eight. Time I got back to the car. Got on the Elsham Road. There's a really horrific accident. Just happened in front of me by a couple of minutes. Three, five at the. Three fire engines. Two or three ambulances. Police cars, a lot. So. I've not heard what went on, but the road was shut and I had to go all the way around. But Google Maps kept sending me around in a circle back on the on the uh, North Walsham Road. So I had to Google it and I had to go all the way through Stalham and back through Roxham. Okay, got £60 ASIO shop leader, £20 Shakespeare salt line, £70 rib body, short pulley, six ounce lead with a uh, Imp, 40 pound snood, 3 0 cox of all, circle hook. And it's got a dongle there, I should have tapped some bait too. That roll has come round slightly, so it is going left to right. So, no, it's not. I'm going to get this one about it's going right to left. I'm going to get this one straight out in front of me. To make sure everything's running smooth. Best of casts. Oh, loosen this drag right off. Right, we're fishing guys. There we go, there's Chroma Pier in the distance. Time for a coffee. I hope that fence don't come down, looking a bit ominous. A lot of landslides on the way here. Mud falls and that, but
Hey guys, setting cast, just refresh the baits. Let's get this one back. My first ever place. Look at that. See all the red spots. Can't see through it. It's definitely a place. Well, a decent one as well. Probably a taker, but. It's a bit too early in the day, I've only just got down here. So we'll slip this boy back. First place, a new species, a new venue. I'll have to jump down here, I think. Alright, let's get this one back. comments leave them below I'll get back to you do the best that I can if you liked the video press like and subscribe tight lines and I'll see you again in another one cheerio guys